Welcome. In today's video, we want to look at how to create custom accounts. In previous videos, we looked at how to create sales analysis codes which have to be linked to custom accounts. We also looked at how to create customer categories which also have to be linked to customer accounts. So today we want to look at how do we create those customer accounts. We are doing these uh, videos as a community service to the accountant's profession. Uh, to benefit both professionals and students and we kindly ask for your help you can help us by subscribing to our youtube channel liking our videos sharing on facebook uh, uh, on facebook or whatsapp and liking our videos right now to get started with creating customer accounts you have to come to edit you click on edit then you come to customers then you go to accounts when you click on accounts the system uh, will start to load and it will take you to the edit customer accounts window right it will take you to this window edit customer accounts window. you can see up here there are these buttons which you'll be using right the edit button is meant for you to add a new customer account the edit button to edit an existing customer account the delete button if ever you want to delete a customer account you use this one but you must not have posted transactions on that account the save button when you create a new when you have entered the details relating to a particular customer you use it to save the reject if you want to reject before saving the search meant to search for a particular customer account uh, code if you want to search by code name if you want to search by name so search either you're searching by code or by name then these navigation buttons if you want to go to the first customer account on your list then the last uh, this uh, this last if you want to go to the last customer on your list then the previous and next previous if you want to go to the previous uh, customer next if you want to go to the next customer so basically that's what is up here then down here you for the account code here that's where we're going to put in the customer code you should have coded your clients or your customers right? you put in a, a, a code then down here you put the description of you be the name of the customer or the client then here you pick the category we're going to demonstrate how to do this so I think in this video we're just going to look at the details tab we've got a number of details of tabs here starting with the details tab so for the details tab for the processing tab or of course it's querying that because we haven't created anything we've got the terms tab right we've got the additional options tab right then we've got the balance tab right then we've got the uh no step so in 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 in, in learning how to create a customer account, we're going to combine some tips depending on the detail that is to be explained. Uh, we may break and continue with other tips so that our video is not that uh, necessarily too long. Right. So to get started, uh, you have to put in a code. We're just going to put in a simple code. Uh, the coding is up to you. Uh, it's something that you come up with. So in this case, I've just come up with this coding, um, CA001. Then down here, I put in uh, the description of the of the client of or of the customer. This could be just the name of the customer. So this is a this is a business. So we're putting in uh, that name Maconte Enterprises. Uh, it's a private company, private limited. So we are typing in this. You see. Then you, you come down here on customer category, you select the customer category. So I've got two categories here, individual customers and corporate. So I have to decide uh, which category is this client uh, falling into. It will be corporate. Right. Then I come down here now on these steps. I start with the details tab. Right. On the details tab here, I put in the postal address. So this is the postal address of this business. Your box 2010. Uh, so it's a uh, main post office. Right. Uh, okay, I'm going to retype. Uh, I'm going to retype this part so that it appears uh, professional. So it's a rare just to be a rare main post office. Right, then Harari. Then down here, I have to put in the 
the the deliverer which is the physical address so this one is uh, 43a uh, Steve drive uh, then this company is based in uh, Masasa so we're putting in Masasa there Arari. so that's the physical address then here you put in the conduct the name of the of the conduct uh, person that's what you're putting here so our conduct person is uh, Prosper Kutama. Then here you are putting in the phone number. This is the phone number of the business. So this is a Harare company. Uh, the number is prefixed by 0242. Then uh, you are putting in the other numbers. If there is a fax, you could put in the fax. But if there is no fax, you can continue and put in the mobile number. So you have to put it in down there. Right. Then you come to uh, email, email tab. You have to put in the email. This is the business email. So you are putting in the business email. Uh, .co .zw. Right. Once we have done that, we have uh, we've put in a code there. We've put in a description there. We've come here and we've put in the postal uh, address and the delivery address and we've fed in all these other details. Now we have to link this with a sales code, who is a sales representative, the person who is serving this client. So how do we do that? We click down there, then we look for a sales rep. So we've got two, and we have to decide which uh, which of this sales rep is the one who brought in this customer. So in this case, we're selecting John for him, then we click on enter. Now when we selected here, it's only that we have just two, but if you had a number, probably continuing, uh, maybe many uh, sales representatives, uh, for you to look up, you could either use code, right, which is this code, or you could use description. So if you click on description, you could just type in on your keyboard, then the one, the sales rep that you want could just come up. It's only that here I've got two. So I'm just selecting. So my life is a bit easy. Uh, John Farem, then I click on enter. Now, I've dealt with uh, the details tab. I've entered all the necessary details. This is information which I had, which I had gathered before. So I've got this information either on a spreadsheet or on a Word document. I'm, I'm just coming here to search pastel partner to create my client, uh, feeding in all the necessary details. Right. Once I have completed uh, the details tab, I then now have to come to processing tab. Right. On the processing tab, there are some things that I have to do. Uh, most of the things have been picked because when we created the Kanban file, you'd find the system uh, automatically could have uh, picked uh, some, some of the choices that we were, that we made. Like uh, the currents here, it will be home currents. Right. Then the processing method here of what open item, I explained in a previous video, that is the Kanban uh, file creation uh, video, that open item basically means that when your customer when you when you select a processing method called open item what it basically means is that your customers will be coming through and you'll be selling to them and invoicing them so on their account invoices will be sitting there right when they come to make a payment sometime later on when you are using open item you'll be able to make that payment against a particular invoice this is very key because it gives you an accurate age analysis report it gives you an accurate age analysis report, which is a very important report. If you if you select the balance forward, what it basically means when the customer comes to pay, when you process the payment now, it will just be knocked off against the balance sitting on that client's account. The disadvantage being your age analysis won't be accurate, right? So open item selected uh, from what we had selected previously. Then it takes these are the defaults that were that were selected. Uh, so if you were to change that uh you you, you may change and uh, you can see this side the information that you previously fed has been selected so once once we have selected this then we continue by clicking on terms right on terms again the defaults have been selected we may come back here probably when you talk about early payment terms you may want to enter early payment terms there but again 
the defaults have been picked from what we chose when we created the Kanban file. Uh, then uh, freight method, uh, if you want to put in the freight method, this is for exporters, if you're exporting, delivery method, if you want to, if you deliver, uh, probably you deliver by, 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 by road or by rail or whichever method that you use. If you give credit limits to your client, you enter now the amount here of the credit limit, right? Then on additional options, here basically nothing much to do, you just leave this tab as it is. Then on balances again, nothing to do, right? This the balances tab basically shows you uh, the transaction that you have processed on this client. So far, nothing was. This is a new client. The notes, the notes tab. If you want to write a note, so if you wanted to write a note, you could just come in here, right click. So you right click when you right click this note uh, 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 facility comes up. You can write whatever you want to write about this client. Then you save the note. Right, we're not going to write a note. Basically, this is just to show you how you do it. So basically, this is how you create your 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 client. Up here, you can see there is cash sale account or a blocked. So if it is cash sale, it means you just have to tick them. Meaning to say, this customer will be C or D. But if you want to block a client, let's say for example there is there are issues with this client's account and uh, you don't want people processing transactions on that client, you could just click on block. Then when you click on block here, that client is what is blocked. You can't process transactions on that client. So basically, this is how you create a custom account on Sage Pastel Partner. It's very important to create custom accounts so that you can track their transactions. You can actually follow up uh, if they are no longer buying. So it's, this is a very important task. So once you are satisfied, you click on save to create that custom account. If for some reasons you wanted to reject, uh, that is not to create this client, you could just clear, cl click on reject. When you click on reject to clear off all this information. But in our case, we want to save. So when I click on save, my client is saved. So basically, this is how you do it. So if you wanted to create the next client, you could just click on it. Again, these fields will open and you can start inputting the necessary details that allows you to create that, that client. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment uh, this video. Thank you.